14.5 match the active sentences to the passive sentences with the same meaning. So we have our uh, passive sentences here, and we have our active sentences here. Um, let's see. I don't think I see anything. All right, go ahead and we have the example. We must beat our cust we must beat our competitors' prices. Our competitors' prices must be beaten. All right, so you can see that that's much more active, and this is less so. <laughs> Trying to be a little nicer there. Uh, go ahead and try one through seven. Write out the uh, active sentences. It's basically what you have to write out. Unless you want to practice, you can write out both sentences. Um, pause the video. When you come back, I'm going to play the audio so you can practice speaking. Let me start with the example first. Our competitors' prices must be beaten. Number one. These toys can't have been checked. Number two. A discount should have been given. Number three. The order can't have been taken by her. Number four. A free bag can be given to every customer. Number five. Faults in the products shouldn't be ignored. Number six. Our prices can't be beaten. And number seven. His order must have been placed late. So I hope now that you've had practice uh, in the student book and then also here again in the workbook that you're starting to hear the difference between the active voice which sometimes can come across as more forceful uh, direct sometimes a little rude so it's careful that you it's important that you are able to hear the difference between the active voice and the passive voice and you need to understand when you need to use that in certain situations and that you're almost always safe using the passive voice. So on on this part and the other one in the student book, in this case, it's real important to hear the difference and know that when to use the passive voice, when to use the active voice, and they are, it's nicer, it's a little, comes across a little more polite if you use the passive voice in these situations. I hope you're beginning to hear that now.